What's up, everyone? Hey. Back with another <laughs> video. Sorry, I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot. We have a lot of houseplants. Have a couple gnat gnats. And I swallowed one. <laughs> and it's bothering my throat. That's a protein. <clears throat> that's a protein for today. That's gross. <laughs> I cracked myself up. So I think it's more psychological at this point, but I keep clearing my throat. So bear with me. And today are we to what? <laughs> today we are doing Jamaican beef patties. Um, but it's vegan. Vegan. Yeah. Jamaican beef patties. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to stay with my feet. Um, I'm trying. Makeitdairyfree.com. <clears throat> they also have an Instagram page and a YouTube channel. Can you put the butter on the. Oh, oh, oh. The butter's melting. Okay. She put the butter on the stove. On the stove top. And now I have to clean up a mess over there. I'll worry about that later. Melting. It was melting. It was melting. It's all right to make mistakes, y'all. It is okay. Okay, so we're gonna start in a large bowl. Whisk together the flour, sugar, turmeric, curry, and salt. So let's go. Three and a half cups of flour oh, can I have those please Dunga. okay so three and a half cups up to the side well what do you want me to do I'm not in the frame I want you to step to the side you gotta be why wouldn't you be in on this side because I'm gonna start doing the whisking while you're doing this you gotta be directly in front of the bowl one Two. Oh, and a half. Oh, three and a half. Three. <coughs> Sheesh, I'm about to finish all of my flour. And a half. I finished my whole container of flour doing that. All right. Um, let's see. Next, it's one tablespoon of vegan sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. And of course, you guys, I'm going to put the full recipe in the uh, description. One, tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of turmeric. That was the sugar. Turmeric powder. <clears throat> One tablespoon. Oh! She spilled a little bit. I spilled a lot of it. You should have did that in the sink. I probably should have. I think that's a good estimate of what it should be. Okay. Um, then one tablespoon of Jamaican curry powder. The curry powder. I have a lot of this stuff on hand already because I love Indian food and we do a lot of um, Indian recipes. So I didn't have to go out and buy this stuff, which was good. The only thing I had to buy was the flour for this and a scotch bonnet pepper because we don't typically use a lot of flour or um, scotch bonnet peppers. Okay, so we got the curry teaspoon sorry, of salt. Don't measure that, I just put it in. Um, then unsalted vegan butter, um, one cup of that, and three fourths to one cup of water. So I'll fill this up with the water first. I'm gonna use our filtered water. And it says I might not use the entire cup of water. So we'll see. All 
right, so let's go back to the directions because it's going to be one cup of butter and one cup of water. Okay. So in a large bowl, whisk together the flour, the sugar, the turmeric, the curry, and the salt. Add tablespoon size vegan butter cubes and then use a fork to mash together. So this entire thing is a half a cup. So one thing is a half a cup and it calls for one cup. So we're gonna, I need another thing of butter, another cube of butter out of the fridge. You're just doing a half, right? No, a cup. But it says to add. Where are they? On the door right there. Down. The sticks of butter. Yeah, I'm having a Down. Oh, right yeah. We have country crock vegan butter is what we bought. So it says to put this in. You have to mash this, so you want a fork. Probably. And it wants, it wants to be sand-like consistency. <clears throat> Ooh, be careful. I think this should be in the sink. But... The bowl? Yeah. Well, it really should be in a larger, uh, deeper bowl. We should have that. We have lots of deep bowls. So where are they? They all have fruit and stuff in them. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Organize. Better. Where are we going to put the fruit? That's why you have baskets. Use them. That's why you bought them, right? Well, you see... I'm listening. Excuse me. That's why you bought baskets. What are you looking for? Something to mash this stuff down A with. fork. Keep going. I'm not stopping you. Don't look at me. I Come was on. just trying to put the butter on the stove for a few minutes to soften it up. Oh, again. I didn't want to melt it like I did the last one. I just wanted to soften it up. I hope bit. you guys, if you're going to try this, I hope y'all have more counter space than we do because this makes a lot of mess. And a deeper bowl. And my, my wife knows, well, she knew we was making this, so she sh probably should have or ask me to get a deeper bowl. And this would have been a lot simpler. You could probably do it with your hands instead. Mash it with your hands. Did you know? Why couldn't we just, we could have just melted this and this would have been better, right? No, you can't use melted butter. Why not? To What's... make a flaky bread. Ah, gotcha. Ah, okay. Come on. Yeah. And it's hot in here, y'all. It, it, it is hot. Well, my, I apologize. It's not hot. It's very muggy. It's very muggy in here. Yeah. See, this is where one of those um, bowl mixers would come in because it has a dough setting and it would do this for us. Well, if we're going to start doing more cooking videos oh, and being a little bit more entertaining, we need to purchase that stuff and not break the bank. I'm going to just do it with my hands. Well, ain't nobody, you know. Ain't nobody what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. Mm -hmm. I'll put, um, I'll put the mixer on our Christmas list and see if any of our family members gets it. For Christmas. How about that? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, hand mixing this is much better. Because you can pull all of it together and squish it with your hands. Plus, the warmth of your hands will melt that butter a little bit better. Okay, so add the vegan butter and combine until crumbly. That's what I'm doing. I'm combining until crumbly. 
this is going to be the most interesting part of this recipe because the other part is just um, scrambling the vegan meat with the other ingredients which we're not going to show you that part on camera because pretty much everyone knows how to just saute some meat until it's cooked with seasoning so should we pause this part and get back get to the nitty gritty and then come back or sure do you, or do we can you do want, that or do you want them to see what this look like we can show them before we uh, mix it before we um, put it all together I mean, because we're already at 10 minutes and you yeah. always tell me we need shorter videos, which we're not going to always be able to give you shorter videos. This is not going to happen. Well, it's nice and crumbly now. Everything is combined. Um, so, yeah, you can do that and we'll, we'll be back. Well, I would like the, you guys to see what that looks like. Okay. <laughs> she just will be back. <laughs> she don't want to show y'all what that look like. <laughs> just... I mean, well, we're not really instructional. We're not. It's not really an instructional video. True. We're just showing them what we do. I know. So, so that's they can sh showing them what we do. They can uh, look at the real recipe. Okay. And get the whole thing. So but you, yeah, go ahead. Want, you want me to cut it? You can go ahead and show. Them. Go ahead. That once looked like flour. Look at it. It looks like. No, that looks like pastry from a beef patty. It looks like cornmeal to me. Oh yeah, it looks like that too. All right, you guys. So we're and gonna I, go ahead and mix everything up. And our and counter, and our counter is a mess. Please have a bigger bowl if you try this. A deeper bowl. Yeah, deeper bowl. I will right, we'll be right back. My laptop died. This is the laptop that I use to edit our videos, and I'm trying to fix it. That is the back of it. That is the plate. That's the battery right here. And I'm trying to figure out why it died on me. And hopefully I can keep this laptop a little longer until I'm able to afford another one. So hopefully I can post this video as soon as I can get this thing running. Hey you guys, I'm so excited. 72 days later. <laughs> okay, so Ours yielded eight patties, um, so we cooked four, because I only have one cookie sheet. We cooked four, wee, wee, oh my gosh. I cooked four, and I'm gonna cook another four. I'm so excited to try this. I cut them, uh, I'll show you, since Ron's just digging in. That's what they look like, done. And uh, they're very, flaky and I cut one in half so that we could taste it and so that we don't burn our mouths off. Mm. I like it. It's delicious. So she, she's more of a I grew up eating Jamaican beef patties all the time. And then when I got rid of beef in 1994, I switched over to chicken patties. We found this place in um, East Strasburg, Pennsylvania that did veggie patties. Um, don't do mine. Um, that did veggie patties, um, but that's far from us. So when I found this recipe, I had to try it. It is so good. This is so good. I'm so excited about it. Next time I think I'll try to make it with lentils though instead of the fake the fake meat. I'll try using lentils. Because lentils is a good substitute. I'll also try like the veggie patties with those seasonings and maybe use potato, um, some carrots and stuff like that to try this. But this is so good. The dough is so flaky and delicious. I'm so excited about it. So what I did was um, that ball of I put the, the dough into a ball, put it in the fridge for 30 minutes, then I took it out. I separated it into um, eight equal eight equal parts like this, and then I, I rolled it out on a on a on my uh, cutting board. Unfortunately, we can't find our rolling pin. I have a friend who gave us a beautiful rolling pin several years ago. I can't seem to find it. As you guys know, we have a terribly small kitchen, so I probably put it somewhere 
in storage or something so because we weren't baking we're, we don't bake often and I probably put it somewhere and I don't know where I put it so you know our our uh, shapes are a little janky because we don't have a rolling pin to roll them out I just did it with my hand and um, that's gonna be it we have four more that, that are gonna go into the oven and, and we'll they, cook those and they are they are good. Like I said, I didn't grow up on chicken patties, beef, beef patties, patties yeah. veggie pa I didn't grow up on that stuff. So it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not something that I would care to eat all the time. I can do, I can probably eat that maybe four times, five times a year. I don't need, I didn't grow up on that. So it's not really a big deal. I was messing with my wife early before we started recording this saying, I know she missed this because before yes. she started this journey with not eating meat, my wife would eat, she would- Chicken patties. Her chicken patties, she would probably do that maybe two, three, maybe even four or five times a month. Like that mm -hmm. was her thing. Yeah. That and pizza is her thing. It's, yeah. That was her thing. So it's nice to find these alternatives to have it. I'm happy about this. I could make this and like keep a couple in the fridge and eat these all week. These are dope too. You can do this like bar like a like a barbecue. I know everybody want to eat hot dogs and hamburgers, but to see something different at a barbecue to me is cool. So if you come to a barbecue and see something like this, wouldn't that be cool if you make this and drop them in the a deep fryer outside? I know that's wrong, y'all, but I, I be thinking about fried food. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I know it's supposed to be healthy, but man, that sounds. This good. is definitely not healthy. But it's maybe not healthy, if we change but, out the inside. But it's healthier than what what we it's normally. It's better than eating meat. Yes, it's better not. Than meat. It's not. You know. Yeah. It's not from an animal, so it is healthier, mm -hmm. but it's still not good for you. And again, everything is good in moderation, right, y'all? You gotta. Meet yourself where you are until you can do better. It should have been possible we could have put vegan cheese in that. Then it wouldn't be a Jamaican beef patty. I don't care about patties. They don't have the cheese in it. <laughs> we can make empanadas. <laughs> empanadas have cheese. Well, I'm... We could do jackfruit empanadas. This is, I'm, we're going to find a recipe. I'm flapping my wings about that one. <laughs> All right, we're going to find... We're going to do jackfruit empanadas to mimic chicken ah, see, and cheese. That's the problem. I don't really care for jackfruit. Jackfruit is okay. Why can't we do the lentils like that with the cheese in it? We're gonna do mushrooms. Oh yeah. I, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of mushrooms, y'all. Mm -hmm. I like the exotic mushrooms, but we lost the person we used to go to. She doesn't come around with the exotic mushrooms anymore. We had a anymore. forager, a mushroom forager who used to get them, but she's not around anymore. She doesn't come around anymore. We don't know where to find her. She used to get all the exotic mushrooms. <laughs> She was awesome. She would just find in the woods herself. She was awesome. And we'll yeah. fry them up and stuff. Man. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably try to find, in the future, try to find another one that... There's one in Philly. That, a girl uh, who does it. We can get exotic mushrooms. Because I, I love exotic mushrooms. I do. Mm -hmm. I'm hot. But I do, I do appreciate this bee patty. My wife was working her butt off on these, and I think she did a good job. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that she found something because she was missing this. Mm -hmm. She was missing it. So, um, so you already showed them what it looked like in the oven. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna show them what it looks like by putting the, put it in there, or you just totally forgot about that part? Well, I have them on a pizza stone. And those are got. And the ones have to go in the oven. So I'm gonna eat two more of those, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna eat two more of those. And that's, All right, that's that, it. That's really it. I think that those are uh, pretty much something I'll eat. <laughs> like I said, it don't. What you look? My hair. Oh, she was all looking at us. So. My, my hair is getting crazy. I, I believe that's something I would eat. So I think we did another good job mm -hmm. on something we both will still eat. I I don't know why we gotta do the hot. Five. We need a T-shirt that does this. So then we could just bump chest? I said this, not bump chest. No, they'll have a hand on it. And instead of high five, bump chest to do the high five. Because they both have a hand on it. <laughs> Turn it off. Five. See, see how rude she is? Damn. <laughs> and y'all say I'm the difficult one. Did they say that? 
don't no, think they said that. No, we got some comments. Um, like, you always Vince. It's always the my women. Your wife. It's always the women saying, and I'm mean. I cut you off. I don't mm -hmm. like. I don't let you talk. You just a mean ass. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. Bye. For those who wanted to know and care, I was able to fix my laptop. I just wanted to show y'all that. Oh, I was thinking I had to go get it fixed. I was thinking I had to get a new one. I don't have no money for that. I just wanted to show y'all that. Bye.